I am motivated to strengthen work relations with my collaborators because this ends the company efficient results. Workers must smile every day. The workers are heady many times, but we do all to manage different behavioral trends. Take bon. In Perth, the liaison between workers and employers is an increasingly popular attitude in most workplaces across the globe. 10:30 a.m. October 16 in Cameroon's economic metropolis Douala, this atmosphere welcomes you to Elite Raw Base Enterprise. The bosses work in hard to step up the figures of the company, and the employees on your part are engaged to speed up productive results. What sort of relationship do you nurture with your collaborators? Is a question I put to some of the bosses on National Boss Day. The first thing is, the first thing we always want to do with uh, the relationship that we have with our co-workers is uh, communication. First and foremost, has to be vertical and horizontal, and that is the first uh, priority that we have at our institution. We want to make sure that no matter how what happens. How it happens, the outcome must always be good, and it has to get good to the company, uh, take into views the, comp the, the, the company's policies and procedures, the vision and the mission, and we know we are always supposed to be striving and striving good. So, for various reasons, the bosses are supporting your staff with your jobs and careers. A short discussion with the collaborators on what they do on a daily basis to show gratitude to your bosses for the problem-free relationship nurtured met me with those answers. I really love my boss for all what she's doing. She's a caring mother and also a caring boss for me. And since nine years, I can say we are working together and we have good relationship. Yes. And as often as possible, I'm telling her thank you. It happens like that. It can be once per week. It can be twice per week. It depends on what we are doing together. Maybe we are working, for example, together, and she's doing something that is really good. I will tell her thank you for what she's doing. I just to give that gratitude to my current boss because um, he has done a lot in, in terms of uh, you know um, the, uh, physical and you know mental upbringing. Getting into the business world and all that, so he has, he's like a mentor, you know, in the business sector. So I get to see him, I get to tell him thank you, both physically, you know, by on phone. I tell him thank you all the time. Um, I equally tell him thank you in other ways, you know, by you know, doing my best, you know, to um, uphold the confidence he has in me. Yes, I'm comfortably working with TTC for the for the few months, three months that I've been here. He has really been treating us very well. And also the small small benefit that he has given us, I'm really really comfortable. Even though it's a, a small society, it's a small company, man, there's really uh, you are really free. You are you are you are free. You are, uh, there's peace. Um, there's peace. There's collaboration amongst the colleagues. He always ensure that we should always collaborate amongst ourselves. So I'm really really comfortable with the environment. Uh, so I always do my best to put in. I always do my best to put in effort so as to meet his objective, which is to make profit. Motivation, the bone of productivity in any enterprise, pushes Mr. Tria, like any reasonable boss, to oil and strengthen work relationship with collaborators. But how efficient can this be, sir? And I think motivation is one of the key factors. Some people, they believe that motivating somebody or someone is just by giving him or her money. But just a simple thank you that you say to an employee for a job well done, it goes a long way in uh, creating like uh, success or even growth in enterprises. Praise and controversy could animate activities of the day, but National Bus Day serves as an ideal opportunity for bosses to reflect on the relationship nurtured with collaborators for enterprise growth.